Hi everybody, I'm Ashley the Thrifty Chica, and today we're going to make a Dollar Tree farmhouse DIY. I grew up around antiques, and I even worked in an antique store as my first job. I always love seeing antique pie safes particularly. They have such beautiful designs, and pie safes add a touch of farmhouse nostalgia in a home. I wanted to recreate that same feeling of fresh home-baked pies and warmth in the home using dollar store items. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss my upcoming DIYs. I'm planning some fun collabs and tutorials for the holidays, and I'm also hosting a giveaway with Cricut for a Cricut Explore Air 2 in my Facebook group, Dollar Tree DIYs and Decor, so make sure to check the description box to join the group. I really love how this one looks on a Dollar Tree budget. Let's get started with which supplies you'll need. I found these wooden plant stakes at the 99 cent only store for 99 cents a pack. Home Depot and Lowe's also carry packages of paint sticks for 99 cents, or you can find larger packs of wooden shims. For this DIY, you're going to need two packages of cookie sheets from Dollar Tree. However, I would grab three just so you have an extra one to practice with. You'll also need glue. I used hot glue for the tutorial, but in the current summer temperatures, I would sub in a stronger glue. Dollar Tree carries multiple types of glue, such as this one. The great thing about this DIY is that you can change it up to fit your decor. I used Minwax Stain in Golden Pecan along with the Pre-Treater to help the stain apply evenly. However, you can choose chalk paint or a darker stain, whatever matches your decor. I made sure to apply the stain outdoors and let the wooden plant stakes dry thoroughly before starting. Remove the label from the trays and cut down the tray to only the bottom section. We're going to cut the tray down to the textured part and use that as our measurement guide. The plan is to create a frame using the plant markers. Place two of the plant markers along the sides of the tray, lined up where the texture begins. You'll notice that the top and bottom pieces will need to be trimmed. Line the pieces up and use a pencil to mark where to trim them. Since the plant markers are balsa wood, I trim them with heavy scissors. If you're using thicker materials, Dollar Tree also carries small saws. Line up your wooden pieces and glue them in place with either wood or craft glue. Let them dry completely before the next step. Use your frame as a template for the cookie sheet. You can mark it with a pencil and trim it down to match the size of the frame. Trim the cookie sheet to fit, taking care not to scratch yourself on the tray. For the pie safe door, I used my Cricut Maker to create a pattern with pumpkins. You can also sketch one out on cardstock and cut it out if you don't have a Cricut machine. This pattern is pre-sized to fit the 99 cent store plant markers, but you can adjust the sizing of the pattern to fit your needs. Load your mat with cardstock. I used a Dollar Tree file folder instead. Watch the maker cut out your pattern, then unload the machine and get the template ready. You'll need a towel folded underneath your project to pad your work surface. Take the diamond template and center it on the door panel. Tape it in place to secure it. We're going to recreate the look of punched tin by punching small holes through each of the trays. I'm using a 99 cent tool from Harbor Freight, but you can also use a ballpoint pen. Follow the outside of the pattern in small, regular dots. Then work your way to the inside of the template and continue the process.
Take the base of your pumpkin template and center it in the diamond. Tape it in place. Repeat the same process of outlining the pumpkin with dots. Once we remove the stencil, you can see the outline of the curves for the pumpkin. Fill it in following where the points would meet. Next, outline the stem shape as closely as possible. For the leaves, instead of outlining them, we will use them as a guide to follow along with a single line of dots. Our final step is assembling the faux punch tin and the frames. Make sure that your frame is face down as well as your design. We want to glue completely around the edge of the frame. Repeat this for all four frames. Test fit the frames to make sure that they match well, and glue leftover wood scraps as supports for the panels. We want one on the top, one on the middle, and one on the bottom of the frames. Complete gluing the supports with both sets of panels. Finally, we're going to glue the two larger panels together using the longest pieces of wood that are left. Now, your farmhouse faux punch tin doors are ready to display. You could add a ribbon or a rope as a hanger, or simply display it on a table or a shelf. You could also alter this to just be a single panel or use it as a double panel. If you love the fall pumpkin sign, it's a Cricut design that I sized to fit a Dollar Tree frame. I used orange pearl paper and black, red, and bronze vinyl. The link to the Design Space DIY is in the description box if you'd like to make your own. The decor pictured here includes new fall Dollar Tree pumpkins, flowers, and candle holders. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, make sure to hit that notification bell for more DIYs. I'd love to see pictures of your versions on the forum as well. Make sure to check the link in the description box. Take care and have a great week.